Hey there fellow programmers, welcome back to our channel. Today we are seeing reading books problem from CSS problem set. In this problem we have a given n books and Kotigualo and Justina are going to read all them for each uh, book. Uh, you know the time to read each book and they want to read each book from beginning to end and they can't read a book uh, at the same time. What is minimum time to require to read all books? First, we have a given n books, then we given a time to read each books, and we want to print minimum uh, time to read all the books uh, to each Quartuello and Justina. Okay, let's discuss. Let's see example. We have given three books. First book uh, time to read is two, second book is eight, third book is three. Now we have a two person A and B. A can start uh, first book uh, to read from zero to two. That same time uh, B can start second book from zero to eight. <laughs> uh, A can complete first book at a two. That means he will pick second book. Uh, there are one more book uh, remaining to read. He will take uh, that book. From two to three, that was five. Book number zero, book number two, book number one. Now, at a five, uh, A don't have any book uh, to read because uh, book number one is uh, reading by B, and book uh, zero and two completed by A. That means A wait for uh, completing B. At a at point A, A. B have completed a book. That means A will pick that book from eight to eight. That is sixteen. Then B will take the uh, other book. That was two. That will take ten. And the, from ten, uh, uh, we have uh, we have completed two books, two and eight. Then he will take another book, three from ten to thirteen. That means maximum time uh, needed to read all books are eight. 16 okay see here answer see here answer we have a 16 let's take one more example suppose we have a uh, uh, three books five six and two at that uh, point, A can pick first book, B can pick second book from 0 to 5, A can pick first book from 0 to 6, B can take second book, 1, 2, 3, first book and second book. At a 6, uh, at a 5, A have completed first book, then that we, he will take uh, another book, 2, from 5 to 2, that was 7. And uh, at a six, we can release it book number two and take another book uh, that was five from six to five, that is eleven. And um, at a seven, you have completed uh, that uh, their book, then he will take uh, another book from uh, seven to uh, another six, uh, twelve, that means twelve, uh, six, thirteen, sorry, thirteen. At 11, we have completed their second book that he will take the remaining book that was 2 from 11 to 2, that is 13. Uh, both have completed a uh, reading book at a time 13. From this, we have a conclusion when we have a maximum book is less than or equal to remaining books like 5 plus 2, we will take uh, some of all books time. That is a six plus five plus two. That is a thirteen. But uh, when we have a um, max book is greater than remaining books like this two plus three, we will take two into eight. That is sixteen. I think you got idea. Let's code it. Hmm.
let's code it guys first i will take an numbers of book then i will take max zero mega or maximum book size and i will take sum the numbers of um, time you know, total time to uh, read all books then i will run for loop from zero to n then i will take x time of book uh, time of i to book to read then i will add to sum and if this book is greater than our max book we will update our max now check if max into 2 is greater than or equal to sum then we will print max into 2 else see out sum ok dry run we will take one more example we have three books five six two uh, that was have answer uh, 13 let's check for it we have passed this case let's submit it if we have a reading book let's submit it we have passed all test case see your code thank you guys